Hey everyone. Um, I'm gonna spend the first like minute making sure everything is working, uh, making sure that you can hear me. There's not a lot of um, like echo. Here's princess. Baby girl, hi. You can probably hear Ayla. She just saw me, she wants me. That makes me sound like a horrible mom. I'm like, my, my daughter wants me, it's fine. No, but she wants me, but she's gonna be fine. She's going to the park with daddy. Um, this is Princess, Princess the Kitty Cat. Um, and let me just verify things are working. Um, and let me make sure I have my chat ready to go. So here's my chat. That seems to be working just fine. Um, I think things are working. Oh my gosh, I need to brush you, princess, because your fur is everywhere and it's getting in my mouth. Um, if I pull random things out of my mouth, it's because my fur, I mean, my fur, it's because her fur is just like, bleh, everywhere. Um, um, great. Awesome. So let's do this. See Minecraft. Um, I just actually updated. So this is actually the new Minecraft education edition. Um, I'm really excited because it was really beautiful. First of all, excuse me, baby girl. First of all, let me just save an exit so you can see this experience. When you first log in, first of all, there's SSO, which is single sign-on. So when you first log in, um, you don't have to install or you don't have to sign in every single time, which is amazing. Um, I really love this new view. I have not explored it yet. Full disclosure, I literally just installed it and then I just clicked view my world and made sure that my world was still there. Um, but they have like a full library of things. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm so excited. Maybe someday one of my... Oh my gosh, you don't even understand. I'm so excited. You probably can hear all of that going on in the background. Um, basically, what is happening is uh, Adrian is trying to get Ayla to want to go to the park. Um, but anyways, wouldn't it be cool if Clue was on here someday? I mean, I know these are educational. Um, we should have to make educational. Oh, hang on. You want to say hi? Can you say hi? Hi. Hi. All right. Um, you're going to go with, oh, are you sleepy? You want to see what mommy's doing? No crying. See, y'all, I'm not a horrible mom. Okay, do you want to see? Should we see what mommy's doing? Let's figure it out. All right, so let's first... Ayla, Jesse says hi. Can you say hi? All right, let's reopen my world. Anyways, I just love the way the new Minecraft Education Edition, right before school starts, uh, looks. I think it looks really beautiful. Um, and I think it's a lot more uh, user-friendly just because it's just, I don't know. It just you felt like I knew what I wanted to do. And I also just really like, you've got, in the escape, you've got the how to play in the settings just right there. I mean. Those were there before, but for some reason it just looks different. Like I still get to see the world that I'm in. Um, I can't even remember exactly what it looked like before when you paused, but I just, I feel like this new one just looks awesome. Um, so I'm really excited about it. This is the new way that you can have others join your world if they're on the same network. Um, so I, I love that. Um, but Ayla, ow, oh God. Um, totally just slammed <laughs> her head into my face. Can I give you a different keyboard? Here, have your keyboard. This one's Ayla's keyboard. I have extras. Um, this one's Ayla's keyboard. Ready? Okay. So let's go ahead and do... No, no, no. This one's Ayla's. This one is Ayla's. Thank you. So where were we? So first of all, um, I... Nope, that's not what I wanted. I made, no. let me bring this out, no, no thank you, um, no. I on, on my streams repo, 
Husband, can you please take a daughter? Yeah, Ayla, let's go to the park. Ah! <laughs> On, um, I have a streams repo. I'll link it um, in the chat as well as uh, have it available for y'all in like the YouTube description if you're watching this later. Um, but basically, we've got oh, I started using Ayla's keyboard. Um, we've got GitHub.com slash the weekend zone slash stream stream streams stream streams. Let me double check. Stream. I think it's streams uh, with an S. Yes, it's streams uh, with an S. Um, so if you go there, I try to make sure. Hello, Ma. I should have told Ayla you said hi. Sorry. Um, you can see some of the things that I'm doing. So, for example, we've got July, um, some of my the different things I did there. And then we also have the one for today, um, which August, I'm calling it clue instead of dates because I want to do this longer project anyways. Um, so that's where you can see, I, w I just realized I wasn't actually showing you what I was looking at. Um, so this is my streams repo. Um, you can see that I accidentally put July 15th in its own rather than inside of, um, the 2019 and then July and August. So in August we have clue, um, basically I've just, it's this, this is the exact same thing. I'm just opening it over here inside of. VS Code, um, because what I want to do is I want to have all of these things um, ready for us. So if you ever want to try this world, like I can upload this world and you can go to the same places and it'll be awesome. Um, so we need to add in the commands for these. Um, we need to add in the locations. And that's what we're going to do today. So let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, um, I did not get a chance, unfortunately, to build all of the worlds that I was building because I flew up to Washington for the weekend just for fun. Um, so that unfortunately didn't get completed, but we can still do things like find our swamp. So let's go ahead and open up code, code builder. And these are all of the chat commands that we built. So we have, again, if we kind of look at our VS code, we can see we've got the canyon, the water, the hill, the sky, and the treehouse. So inside of here, we have water, mountaintop, canyon, swamp, and we needed to make one for the sky. So let's go ahead and copy and paste the water one. Let's call this um, sky. Let's delete that variable. I didn't, I just deleted the entire block. No, let's not do that. Okay, let's, let's try this again. So let's go ahead and bring that over. Let's do sky. And um, what were the commands? Sky 1303, 152, 650. So 1303, 152, and 650. 650, 654. 650. Okay, perfect. So we have sky, water, mountain top. Let's just call this mountain. Just to make it. Canyon, and let's just do swamp. So sky, water, mountain, canyon, swamp. Let's go ahead and add those over here. So we've got canyon, water, mountain, sky. And we actually made swamp, it would seem. So let's go ahead and grab the swamp. So I'm going to write it down just so I don't forget. Oh, I've already written it down. So negative 1207, 65, and 2081. Actually, I think we also, we have a mountaintop and a hill. I want to say that we actually have a hill, which we still need to make one for. And we actually have a mountain, which is different. Oh, mountain, you know what that one was? This one is the, like, um, just the starting point. And that one was at 1313 562. I have this written down um, right here. So, and that one is mountain. So we also didn't add in the tree house, which let's just call this trees. Um, so let's make one for trees. So let's go ahead and grab this. And you know what we could do instead of, this is a negative. 
instead of having each one of these be a different chat command, we could actually have it be where we input, um, like it could say find, and then we input these as parameters, and then we, we have an if statement. So we'll, we'll go ahead and refactor that later. But let's just make sure that this works for now. So this is 75 and this is 372. So we currently have everything. We, we said that what we wanted to do was build sand, cliff, and river. So we still need sand, cliff, and river. Again, um, we might want to consider doing some different things here as well, like not having it be, um, not having it be, oh, you know what? It can't be sky and sky. So let's call this build sky. See, this is where I think we should definitely have something where it's build and then the input of sky, which would then do it with the um, with the glass instead of the diamond. And then we could have build hill, which would do it with the dirt instead of the diamond. Um, or sorry, it wasn't diamond. It was just colored glass. Tree house, instead of having it say tree house, we could have it say build tree. So we definitely do need to do some refactoring here. Um, but for now, I think this is fine. So let me just zoom out and make sure that we're not missing any code. Um, so glass house, just build a glass house wherever we are with that kind of blue. And I think we built a glass house for um, like the underwater one. And then we also built it for, um, did we build it for the swamp? So let's go ahead and go to these different locations. So we've got water, mountain, canyon, swamp, sky, and trees. And remember, block was just giving us an indication of where it would start. So let's go ahead and just do this. Um, for those of you who are new, uh, my name is Sarah Guffles, and basically what I'm doing is I'm using Minecraft Education Edition with the Make Code Code Builder embedded inside of it to build an instance of Clue. So uh, Clue, the, the board game where you have these nine different rooms, and you're trying to identify who killed who, who killed the person with what weapon in what room basically. Um, and uh, we're basically going to build a version of that. I don't really want to do like someone died, um, but maybe we can do something similar or maybe we could do something like an escape room or something to that effect. Um, so basically the first thing to do is to, to have the worlds, to have the commands to actually teleport you to them so that we can just kind of go between all of the different worlds. So let's go ahead and run this and make sure that all of these commands work. So again, the commands are canyon, water, hill, swamp, trees, sky, mountain. So let's see what we actually have. Um, so let's do canyon. Okay, this is our canyon world. This one's pretty awesome. Um, it's inside of, like, so basically there was a canyon and we built into the side of it and it's built with um, just, just some glass, I mean, it's kind of neat to see what's around you. Um, and what I like about this one is that you can see that there's some water and you can see that there are torches, but they're behind the glass, which I just think is really fun. Um, hi, Stink. Stinky Relly. <laughs> uh, my green square in the Microsoft logo is see-through. Oh, it is. Oh my gosh, you're so right. That's because the green screen behind me is is green and so it's the same one that's pretty funny i love that um how funny i love it uh the the power of green screen right it's a good thing my skin isn't green i'm gonna have to like paint myself green one day um okay so let's go ahead and do sky let's go back to our sky one so our sky one that didn't work i don't think our sky is the right place our sky should be at 1303 152 650 that's interesting. So why did our sky not, let me just do time set day again. Um, where is, did I, did I put it in the wrong spot? What's going on? Where are you sky? Um, let's go up. Cause I know I was just like just above the clouds. I don't see, let's try to do mountain. Okay. So we're on the top of the mountain. I believe my sky was just just above the mountain, like near the mountain, if I remember right. Um, there it is. Okay, so why? Why am I not getting teleported into there? Basically, I want to be here. Negative. So I said negative 1303. That would put me 
here. Uh, negative 1303, 152, 650. So that's about here. Uh, just below. So that seems right. Negative 1303, 152, 650. I wonder, I always do that. I wonder if I didn't put the negative. That's what it is. Perfect. Okay. So let's go ahead and test this out again. Um, so let's do sky. There we go. Now we're in the sky box. Let's go ahead and do, we did canyon. Let's try water. Make sure that we end up in our water house. I love our water house. It's one of my favorites. Um, let's go ahead and do hill. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Y'all, I'm building the hill. Ah, uh, this is not good. Stop, stop, stop. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Darn it. Um, uh, I want to replace this now. Oh, that makes me so sad. Okay, I need to replace this. Let's just go ahead and replace it. Um, it wasn't graced. In, oh, okay, this is going to be horrible because now I have to replace this with, like, quickly. So I have to replace it but not let the water fall in like that. Oh, and now there's water everywhere. I mean, it'll dry out, but oh, this is so annoying. Um... Okay, let me first go ahead and change that. So that was hill. Oh, goodness gracious. Oops. Um, we don't have one for hill yet. So let's go ahead and change this to build hill just so that I don't accidentally do this wrong. Um, and let's go ahead and change this to build trees. Just so then that way they're the same. Like it's it's canyon. What was it? Um, oops. It's... Uh, canyon, water, hill, swamp, sky, trees. So let's go ahead and make sure that those we could do build for the other ones. And this is why, honestly, it would be better if we actually refactored it um, so that it would be build with an input of trees rather than just build trees. Um, this is why writing good code is important and I'm very sad right now because I did not write good code and now now things are not working. Um, build glass, uh, I'm very sad. Uh, okay. And we didn't even have a hill command because I didn't actually make one for the hill because I called it, did I call it mountain? No, I just, I just didn't make one for the hill. I'm extremely sad right now, if you can't tell. Um, so let's go ahead and just change this to hill and let's go ahead and, um, so hill was, I believe that's negative 1208. See, this is this was my other problem was when I was writing it in VS Code, I did not include the negatives. The only one that isn't negative, I think the treehouse is also negative. The only one that is definitely not negative is, oh no, they're all negative. Okay, so all of them are negative. Okay, so let's go back. I'm so sad. Um, negative 2024. No, Hill is negative 1208. Um, 64 and 698. Okay. Oh, that makes me so sad. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, fix this fix this up a little bit. So I'm gonna have to do this fairly quickly because nobody wants to sit here and watch me put. Um, put all of these here. It's really annoying. Um, I mean, I know that's part of what Minecraft is, is building this, but I want to get to baking clue. Nobody wants, no, nobody meaning me wants to just sit here and, <laughs> no, what are you doing? Stop. Stop. Um, watch me just place all of these glass blocks everywhere. And I'm going to have to go outside of the water and replace those ones. Okay, come on, back up a bit. Um... Oh, goodness gracious. Clearly, I'm also tired because my fine motor skills are not very fine right now. <laughs> they are simply motor skills. Um, I should make a shirt that says that because that's like my life. Simply motor skills. <laughs> not fine. <laughs> they are not fine motor skills. That's why I ran cross country in high school and didn't like 
play volleyball or something. <laughs> um, and why I had scars all over my legs just from running cross country because, yeah, I couldn't even do that effectively. Okay, so let's go ahead and water out once it's getting in. See, so yeah, um, the, the good thing actually is that if there is no more source of water, um, the water just dissipates. So uh, it's kind of physics -y. Uh Basically, if there's a constant source of water, then those water will re replace itself. If you made enough water, I believe that the water will essentially maintain its status. But like if you only have 10 or so blocks of water, basically the water came in and then you blocked, blocked it off immediately, then the water will just disappear. So we actually don't have to worry too much about it um, because luckily we've got, uh, uh, it just kind of disappears. But yeah, had we let it sit there for a while, it might have been more of a problem. So I'd really like to get rid of these, these dirt blocks. Um, I mean, I don't really have to do it right now, but let's just go ahead and, and I think you just do TP... And then I want to just go up a bit. So destination X, Y, Z, looking at entity. I believe um, destination is going to be uh, relative, not the original ones. They're not like based on the, the center of the world. So I think I could just maybe do something like um, X, 10, Z. Does that work? Maybe. No, that didn't work. So currently we're at, let me just write this down. Currently we're at negative... 2018 58 367. So let's go ahead and just go to um, TP negative uh, 2018 and then let's go to 68 and then 367. No? Did I do 58? I did do 58. I meant to do 68. There we go. Okay, so now our world is or our, our building is below us. And really, I just want to get rid of all these. Um, I do want to replace them. It is not extremely necessary to replace them because they're on the edge, but I just think it would look better if they are uh, replaced with the glass because it would just match um, just kind of the structure here. So let's go ahead and do that. So now I can kind of sink into the water a little bit. These ones I can just destroy. That's fine. Um, but these ones I want to replace with glass just so that they match. So as I'm sinking, I'm going to go ahead and replace these with glass. And then these ones I'm just going to destroy. And you can see that like water gets, uh, like a water block gets replaced with it. I think that's kind of a neat feature, um, is that you can kind of see that the water block is being replaced. Uh, and then you don't need to see all of the water blocks because it's all just water. Um, so yeah, that's kind of neat. Okay, so that's better. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now let's go to the hill. <laughs> Here is our hill room. Um, <clears throat> so we went to the canyon, to the water, to the hill. Let's now go to the swamp. I can't remember if I actually built the swamp. I feel like I didn't. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, and that's not really a swamp. Um, so I think swamp is actually wrong. We need to actually find a swamp or maybe build one. Um, this is kind of a little swampy. It's not exactly the swamp I was looking for. Uh, it's a little swampy though. Um, there we go. I like this one. I like when the swamps kind of have this. Let me let me make it brighter. I like when the swamps have this kind of greeny. This is a swamp. This is the swamp I was looking for. So now here's the trick though. What kind of like large structure can we build in a swamp such that it won't be obvious that it's there? Because that's kind of the whole point. Like if you look at each of our different rooms, it's not extremely obvious. So like let's go to, well, I don't really want to go away from this place yet. Um, uh, if we, when we go to the trees, which is next, um, you'll see that the tree house, like we kind of try to make it blend in a little bit. I think we could do that with some of these like trees that are uh, with the with the long the longnesses of them. Let's go ahead and I want to see what those are. So if I break this, I think it's a vine, if I remember right. Um, let's go into yeah, it's just a vine. So what we could do is we could put some vines around it. Um, actually, I wonder if okay, here's an idea. Let's see how deep it is over here. Okay, so it's fairly deep. 
what if we built something like right here? So that's, that's what, like about five blocks. Um, and then what if we built it, you know, like five blocks? So maybe we'll do like eight blocks high. It doesn't need to be super high. So what if we did something like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Okay, so what if we did about 10 blocks wide, about eight blocks high? Oh, look, at it. it's like little salmon or tuna or something. Um, so I said about eight blocks high, about five or 10 blocks wide and 10 blocks long. And then we just added vines on the outside of it. I think that would be kind of neat. And maybe instead we can do some of the like greener glass. So then that way it kind of looks like it. Um, ooh, a mud cave. Ooh, what would be a mud cave? That's kind of neat. I like that. We could do a mud cave. I had one for sand and a cliff and a river um, that we haven't done yet. So we could totally replace that with a mud cave. But would that be like, what, how do you do a mud cave in Minecraft? Okay, let's let's build this one real quick and then we'll go back to mud cave. So let's figure out where we are. Let's open up our code builder. So what we're gonna wanna build is essentially one of these. Um, and we wanna do build swamp. And we wanted it to be uh, 10 by 10 by 8. And instead of just like plain glass, we wanted it to be something that was a little green. So let's do, ooh, I like that green color. That was kind of neat. Um, and then we wanted it to be, so the way that we were doing it before was basically we were offsetting it by where we were. Um, and then remember that this one basically just does the inside of it. So we're going to want to do 10, um, 6, and 8. So that's going to be the inside, and it's going to replace all of the green glass with air. So then that way we can actually get inside of it. Um, so, all right, so we need to figure out where this is actually going to be. This block, let's see where block gets placed. That work. Yeah. Where did you get placed block? Oh, this is tricky. Okay, fishies. Hello, I see you. Why don't we instead of um, instead of placing a block, which is kind of confusing because everything is made out of dirt. Why don't we place something that's a little bit like more obvious? Like, what if we replace it with gold? That's just a little bit more obvious. Okay, so let's go ahead. Oh, you know what? Also, I didn't. I need to actually run it. So let's go ahead and run it. Um, so let's do gold. No. Oh, I did negative one though, didn't I? Oh, I just did that one below me, but I don't actually need it below me. That didn't make any sense. Um Okay, so this is offset at location, width plus three, height plus three, depth plus three. So I definitely don't want height plus three. I just want height because I want it to start. <clears throat> Excuse me. I want it to start where I am. Um, is it still called block? You're right. It is still called block. Why didn't I change it to gold? That's what. Um, also, please always do not hesitate to... Call me out if it seems like I'm doing something wrong because likelihood is that I am. And that's what pair programming is. So pair programming is basically where you have someone else who is watching your back. Um, there we go. That's the gold. Thanks, Jess. Um, and uh, the way I like to interpret it is that you've got a driver and you've got a, a navigator. And you all who are watching right now are my navigators. And I am the driver because I have the keyboard and mouse. But please, please, please be my navigators. Let me know if I'm steering off course um, and if I need to correct. So we want height there. We want height plus one here because we want it to be up, you know, inside uh, inside of the, the other block. I don't think we really need width plus, well, width plus three is nice because the whole point was like a few streams ago. The problem was that if we built it exactly where we were, then some of the blocks would be missing. So let's go ahead and just try this one. This one's build swamp. Um... Let's go ahead and try it. So, oh, let me make sure I actually execute. So we gotta make sure we press play. 
So then that way Minecraft can load in the new code. Um, I mean, I think right here is fine. So let me just kind of let myself sink down a little bit. I, I honestly don't mind going down a little bit farther even. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do this. And let's do build, build swap. And again, there it goes. So we just have to make sure that we stay still because as it's building, it's building relative to our current location. So every time we iterate through the loop, what actually happens is it's going to check my location and then it's going to do the evaluation of where it needs to be in relation to my location. So we want to make sure that we stay still while this is being built. Um, I just realized that I didn't use the one that had my debug statement, so I won't actually know when it's done. Um, that's another reason why we want to have one piece of code that's got build and then it's got um, an input that says what type of thing that we want to build. So then that way we can just replace the, um, the block type with whatever we want. Uh, and then we could have it uh, be the same debug statements and it's just basically the same code all around. Unfortunately, we don't have that right this second. Um, so we're just going to have to kind of guess when it's done, which is tough because it's hard to see. Oh, great. So the air has just started. So it took about that long to build the green glass. So it's going to take slightly less time to break, to build the air because the air um, is a slightly smaller cube. Okay, that fish looks stuck. Are you okay, fish? What are you doing? Oh, you just waiting for your family? Hi, fishies. Hello, hello. Should I catch you? Should I, should I just like punch you and eat you? Um, I think I need to actually go fishing. Okay, so let's go ahead and go up. I'm assuming it's done. Ooh, that looks perfect. Look at that, you can't even tell that it's there and it's like near all the swampiness. Oh, I love it. I mean, I feel like maybe we should have put it in that, that swamp. This is more like a river, but look, you can't even tell it's there, but look, ah, there you are. Okay, so let's um, find out which location this is. So I feel like um, where I'd want to come in is about right here. So this is negative. Let's do cross this. Oh, you know what? I don't have to cross it out because I actually have an erasable pen. Isn't that useful? Okay, so um, negative 1477. And then we want to go down a bit. So let's do 50, no, not 52. Let's do um, 57 and 2211. Okay, so let's go ahead and build that code. So again, for swamp, instead of having it be whatever this was, we're going to have it be. Uh, negative 1477, 52, and 2211. So let's see if that worked. Let's go ahead and this. And let's type in swap. Oh, I feel like maybe it wasn't done running yet. Because that's definitely not right. No. Okay. Try this again. No, I changed you. Negative 1477, 52, 2211. No, that's right. Uh-oh. What did I do wrong? Wait, oh, am I in it? <laughs> I might actually be in it. Oops. <laughs> I hadn't done anything wrong. I just didn't realize where I was. Um, oh, I love the green, the green aesthetic. Oh, this is so cool. Um, cool. So here is our swampy land. So mud, we were talking about mud. I don't know how to make mud inside of Minecraft or like a little mud mud pit. Um, I don't know. Let me know if you have any ideas on that. Um, I think maybe I'll go to the next one, which was sand. Um, maybe even the cliff. I kind of like the idea of the cliff because what we could do is have it be glass. And, I don't know, that could be kind of cool. Um, but I don't know how to do mud. Now I'm trying to like think about it. In the meantime, let's also go ahead and add here. So this is swamp, and let me fix this. This is actually going to be 1477, um, 57, and 22. Oh, then. All right, so that looks good. Let's go back. Let's just go back to the mountain. And let's set the date time. 
All right. So I kind of like the idea of doing it on a cliff. Um, what that means, I don't exactly know. I mean, one thing that we could do is have it go between two cliffs. That could be kind of neat. Um, another thing is that we could have it maybe just like kind of right in there. Um, another thing is we could just have it kind of off the cliff. And so you can't even really, like it's just kind of glass in, in the wall. Um, what if you decorated with, ooh, mycelium blocks. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I like that. So if you've never seen these before, I hadn't. Um, this is pretty fun. Yeah, I like that idea. Okay, let's do that. Let's try that one. So um, let's go ahead and go back over here. Let's find a good place, though. I feel like if you're going to have muddy area, yeah, they are super freaky looking. Um, we kind of want it to be maybe near water because we want it to kind of simulate that it's it's muddy, right? So it's wet. This area is kind of neat. If we, if we had it, <clears throat> like if we dug down deep here, um, but had it on the grass, like this little grassy area. Uh, so when we do it, we do positive for X and positive for Y. So we want to be doing, that's negative, right? So we want to come over here. Um, so we're going to go positive for X. And we want to go positive for Z. Okay, so we want to be over here in this corner. And then what we want to do is maybe uh, dig down quite a bit. So the top here is 63. So maybe we do 53. Okay. So what if we built it here? And so basically what we're going to do is we're going to do build muddy. So I'm going to grab, where's the one that has the debug statements? Here it is. So let's, let's use this one. Let's call this build mud. Build mud. And let's see if we can find it. Nice. Oh no, does make code not allow you to put that in there? Well, we could replace the top with it once we're done. So why don't we just, um, let me remember what it looked like. So it's dirt with it on top. So what we can do is just do it with dirt. And then what we can do is just have, we can redecorate the top. So I can take off the top layer and then put it with mycelium. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but let's just go with it. Uh, so let's just do dirt. And that looks good to me. Height, height plus one. And let's let's just that that looks good. All right. So build mud. Let's build build mud. Um, make sure build mud. Okay. So it's it's doing its thing. So we just want to wait until it's done. Um, this is what I love about just kind of coding and and building things with technology i mean building things in general it's like we have a vision for what we want we have a certain set of resources whether they be tools whether they be actual you know like resources like in the physical world you've only got five nails what are you going to do um in minecraft luckily we have unlimited but the fact is that our tool does not allow us to use certain resources. That doesn't mean the answer is no, right? That just means that we want to be creative about it. Um, just like I didn't know how to do mud, but using the mycelium or however you pronounce it uh, is a great way to kind of simulate that kind of like dredgy, muddy, like you're near water kind of feeling. I, I really, really like that idea. Um, and we could have the mud be on the top and it doesn't have to be the only just kind of the, the cube top. We can have it kind of extend beyond that. So that would just be a lot of fun. Um, also, I totally see that my like head's cut off. Uh, I'm getting a new camera soon, so my setup's going to be slightly different. Uh, hopefully next time, and and it'll look hopefully better. Um, but in the meantime, this is good enough. No one really cares about my face anyways. It's just there to, to, to show you that I'm a person, and so that we can have awesome, funny little things where your shirt is see-through in one little square. Um, okay, the outer is done, so it looks like we should be done no, the outer is done. So now we're just waiting for the air to complete. 
Um, and that one I didn't do the whole panel, et cetera, et cetera. I just have a message that'll just say completely done in a minute. So we'll wait for that to happen. Um, and in the meantime, we're gonna have to figure out how to like teleport into it. I gotta see if maybe it did reach the, the entire top. I did a Y of eight, so now that I realize that, um, we'll probably have to dig down a little bit. No, I did do a Y of 10 because I did build hill instead of um, the other one, so perfect. Now it's done. So hopefully if we come up here, we'll actually see it. There it is, perfect. Okay, so now what we can do is, and we might actually, I just realized that I, I didn't break enough. So we might actually just do something like, so now let's go ahead and grab. There we go. So now let's do this and actually let's do it down here. Oh, this is gonna look so awesome, I love it. This is great, thank you so much for the recommendation. This is gonna look so epic. Okay, so let's go ahead and just destroy all these. I can't reach anymore. Um, this is where coding does come in handy, but to do the math right now is just gonna be annoying. So I'd rather just break blocks and put blocks um, but it would be faster if I did it from the center here. Then I don't have to physically move. The little tricks that you do try to build faster. Oops. Um, I'm going to just destroy all these. All of those are starting to get grass on them. So the first thing I want to do is at least build the top of this. I want to get my command to kind of go into it. And then from there, we will add additional um, uh, mud at the top so that it does not it's not as obvious where our room is. Because even though this is clue and so it's no longer like hidden survival, try to, try to escape each other, it, it would be kind of fun if, if you didn't know where you were. I like that idea. Look at that donkey over there. What's up, donkey? How's it going? All right. So, just have to build all this. That's one thing I never really got good at in Minecraft. Um, not that I can't, because anyone can do anything if you have the time and patience and resources to learn. Um, but something I never really really did a lot of is um, the animals stuff. I just never really tried to tame horses or actually, is this even a donkey? I think it's a donkey because the ears are much bigger. It's not a horse, right? Um, I don't even really, because I play so much in creative mode that I don't even really like kill the animals for food because it's just, I don't need food because I'm in creative mode. Um, but anyways, what I like, what we do need to figure out with this is that we don't want it to be a square, right? Like even even though it's just uh, our room is a square, we don't want the actual my, my how do you pronounce it mycelium to be a square um, because we want it to look kind of natural. I honestly I don't know what what natural looks like for this, um, but my point is that we don't want it to be just this. Um, like square of of mycelium existing in this random patch. We want it to just be like it was growing or spreading or something to that effect. Um, so that's kind of what I'm going for here. Maybe to simulate the mud, we also want it to go all the way to the water. So that might be a good idea. Um, just to kind of have it be like, yes, this is why it's it looks like this, because it got all wet, because water. Water is a thing that gets things wet. Did you know that? Did you know water gets things wet? I did not know. Um, okay, so I kind of like this. Let's look at it from above. I mean, that does, definitely doesn't look natural, but it kind of looks like it's, it's kind of spreading, maybe? Um, weather. All right, so those were some of the first few commands that I learned when I was 
when I first started playing Minecraft was how to set it back to daytime and how to keep the weather clear just because it was always really annoying when I was trying to just focus on building something and then all of a sudden it would get dark and I couldn't see anything and then it would start hailing and snowing and I'm like, can I just build please? Um, so yeah, it was always something that, it was something that I learned fairly quickly. Uh, okay, I think that looks kind of cool. I mean, it's still obviously like this big square. Uh, maybe we can do a little bit more on this side or something, but I think that looks good enough for now. Um, so let's go ahead and go inside of it. Whoop. And let's figure out where we want to teleport to. So let's put some torches around here. Um, and actually we could do the floor. That would be really cool is if we did the floor with the mycelium as well. Um, just so then that way it feels like mud everywhere. I like that idea. So again, this is gonna take just a little while. Um, don't worry, also, uh, I really appreciate you joining me for the live stream, um, but we also put all of these on YouTube afterwards, and we do it in a couple different ways. One is that we've got um, just this long form, so exactly what you're seeing now, but on YouTube, uh, and then another way is that we, we do just short little clips. Um, and actually, now that I'm thinking about it, uh, it might be useful for these long form ones in the description. I can place the minutes in the video when, um, when you might want to like skip ahead. <laughs> so if you want to see like me building the mud room, then maybe skip ahead to minute however long we've been here, 500 million. Um, uh, so that might be useful. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see. Um, if you just want to just kind of have me in the background chatting away, um, building random things and trying to make a clue, um, that's fine too. But I figured if I'm going to make stuff, I might as well have it be available for later too. Uh, to be honest, because then I forget what I was doing and I can rewatch it. <laughs> Um, survival mode is so much fun. Sorry, I paused because I was reading what you were saying. Survival mode is so much fun. So what I was saying in one of my previous blogs is, or or videos is that I really like playing creative mode first, and then and then just like setting up what I'm going to be surviving in. Um, it's kind of cheating, but it's not really because the way I think about it is like if I were to live in the real world and a zombie apocalypse were to come or a creeper apocalypse, I hate that word, um, were to come, I wouldn't be starting from scratch. Like I wouldn't just be starting from a place where I'd have to punch trees in order to build a house. Like I'd be starting from like, let's go find where the mansions are <laughs> and let's try to survive in that, um, assuming that they're gone. Uh, so that's kind of the, the way I think about it. Um, but I, I do love survival mode. It's, it is a lot of fun. Um, Creative mode is just fun, especially when you're doing things with code, because, I don't know, then you can just, just build things that you never really imagined in, in time that it, it doesn't take, like, that long. So, anyways, let's go ahead and write down this new, where did my other pen go? I found it. It was on my chair. So, let's change river, since we already have a swamp, let's change river to mud, um, and let's figure out where we are. So, we're at negative 954. 54, 10, 60. Okay. So let's go ahead and write that in VS Code as well. And let's change river to mud. And let's do negative 954, 54. Um, also, like the way, oops, the way that I think about this is this is my documentation for the code that I'm writing. I could definitely document inside of Minecraft. Um, you know, we could add in some some things like over here uh, and you know we can add a comment and have it have a little comment that's fine um, but but honestly like what I really want is someone to be able to come in and see get a general idea of like what we're building and, and understand the ecosystem first and then look at the code and kind of already understand what's going on so that's why I like to do it like that um, 954, 54, and 2211. Okay, so now we've got our mud room. So when we run this, we should be able to go to mountain. Ta -da! This is our starting point. 
And then we should be able to go to mud. There we go. Nope. 950, negative 9, 57, I was in the wrong spot. 57. All right, try this again. Oh, I need to actually execute. Let make code know that we actually changed things. All right, so let's go ahead and run this again. Are we not there yet? 57. It says I'm there. This is definitely not right though. Uh, you're not right. Negative 954. No, it was 54. Negative 954, oh, oh. negative 954, 54, and then it's 1060, looking at the previous row. Let's make sure we update this. That's great. <laughs> I totally had it right before. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to mud. There we go. Here's our mud room. Oh, and let's go ahead and replace that. Perfect. All right, and let's go ahead and put some of these torches up here. All right, so now we have our mud room. Um, let's go into, next we need our mountain. So we need to go back to the mountain. Next we need, we have um, sand and cliffhanger. So let's go ahead and build sand and cliffhanger. So next is we have to find some sand. I totally we had some at some point, so let's go find some sand. Um, I mean, there's like a tiny bit of sand there, but that's not the sand I'm looking for. There was just this like really sandy beach that I had found. Um, should have written down the coordinates. I mean, this could do. We could build off of here. I like this. Okay, let's do it right here. Um, so we can kind of build it like in the water. Oh, that would be kind of cool too. Wait, what is in there? What lights up? Ooh. What were those lighty things? I don't remember those. Um, I wonder what those were. Interesting. Kind of want to make. Kind of makes me want to just search for it. So Minecraft. Minecraft underwater. Um. Oh, a sea lantern. No, see that's a sea lantern. It was definitely not a sea lantern. It wasn't an underwater torch. It's like a plant. Oh, it was a sea pickle. Sea pickle. Very cool. Oh, how cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back over here. Um, I just want to verify that it was a sea pickle. Um, and, and is that what's giving it light? No. Is it? Let's go to one of the darker areas and put another sea pickle and see if it lights up. I mean, that's kind of what it seems like, doesn't it? So let's go ahead and search for sea pickle. Oh yeah. How cool. Oh my gosh, that is really neat. I love it. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and just build it here. Oh look, there's a turtle. Hi turtles. Hi, oh my gosh. Oh. Now I don't really want to build here because look at how much wildlife there is. Okay, we need to go find a slightly different area because I don't want to disturb their lives. And we don't have to build it as big as the last ones. This could be like one of the small rooms. I don't know if you remember. And we could totally build it out of coral. I love that idea. Okay, so um, let's just build a small one right here out of coral so it won't completely disturb the whole entire ecosystem. 
um, but we can kind of sneakily be a part of it. So what we want to do is we want to go negative. Um, so we want to go positive. So let's go this way. And then we want to go this way, this way. Perfect. So let's let's come over here. Perfect. Okay. So let's go. This looks good. But let's only build it like five, five by five by five. So we're gonna start here. Let's go back into our code code builder. Let's go back over to the one that has the print statements. Let's call this build coral. I like that idea instead. Um, and we want it to be coral. Should we do blue coral? Let's do blue coral. And then let's let's go ahead and do two, two, let's do three. All right, build coral. Let's do it. So, all right. So now it's building coral. Um, and again, we just kind of want to stay still until it's done. Perfect. Um, yeah, I mean, we're almost done with all of these. All we have left, I'm going to replace sand with coral. Um, let's go ahead and let it know here. So let's do coral reef. And this one's going to be coral. We don't know where yet. And then we just need the cliff next so we can do the cliff and then um, basically we have all of the worlds and or all of the um, the rooms and then we just need to pull up the rules of of um, clue and kind of see like how we want to play this I would also love to have y'all join me in playing this so once we're done building this um, I'll turn this into a, uh, what I'm thinking is I might put this world on an Azure VM and see if maybe y'all could connect to it, although then it's going to be in a Minecraft Education Edition world, so it's not exactly going to work. Um, yeah, I'll have to see how that, I don't know, I'll have to see how I can make this work so that we can actually play together. Um, the outer is done for our coral reef. Uh, we just have to wait a couple more seconds for the air to replace all of our coral inside of it. Wouldn't it be kind of cool if instead of torches, we put sea pickles? I wonder if that works, though, because they probably only live underwater. So we can't put the sea pickles on the coral reef if there's no water. But, ooh, we could put water just on the bottom part. Ooh, okay, I've got an idea. I've got an idea for our coral reef. I'm really excited. Okay, let's do this. Uh, are you done yet? Come on, be done. Be done with the air. Um, air, be done, air, be done, air. I hate waiting. I'm not a very patient person. Oh, goodness gracious. If we break just, there we go. If we break just one of, oh my gosh, look at my beautiful coral, and it's like perfectly placed. Okay, and like it didn't mess up a lot of the um, the actual reef. Oh, look how pretty it still is. Yay. Okay, here's my thought, though. Are you ready for this? Let's let's pop in the top here. Go down. Go down. Okay, water, come on. Okay, we've got way too much. Uh, 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 uh. Too much water is falling in. Okay, we definitely need at least a torch in here because I cannot see anything. And I definitely need to place some coral because this is this is not working. Okay, come on. Okay, I wasn't trying to place like all the water. All right, are you going to dry up or are you going to stay there? Because what I was thinking, yeah, you're going to dry up. What I was thinking, though, is let's get some just torches in here to start. 
um, just so we can kind of see. Um, oh no, my coral's dying. Is it because there's not enough water in here? Okay, so what I was thinking was, so we could just try placing water. Uh, I don't think this is what I want to do though. I guess it is. Let's just put one water in each corner. So now there's just water. And then we can grab our sea cucumbers. Oh my gosh, look how pretty this looks. Oh, this is so much prettier. Oh, than the torches. Look at how pretty this is. And we can put one in the center. Oh, look how pretty you are. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so pretty. You know what we could also do is we could totally put some like glass and then some water on top of the glass and then do the same thing. So then that way the sea cucumbers are like, can we put sea cucumbers on the top of here? So like, I think they need to be underwater. Okay. All right. I have an idea. Let me just do this super, super, super quick. Let's get, I don't want gray stained glass. Let's get some blue stained glass or maybe just some simple Let's just do clear glass, I think would be better. So let's do some clear glass. Here's my idea. So we're going to come up to the top here. We're going to do glass right here. So we're just going to, nope, not right there. So we're just going to place the entire row, well, platform of glass. I don't know if you can hear Princess crying her little booty butt off, but she definitely wants to come in here. We might need to let her in in a second. Um, all right. This glass in here. Oh, I hate placing blocks. I mean, like, that's part of the whole point of Minecraft, but also I just... I just want it to be there. I want to be able to just run like a simple command that's like, do it here, but I don't want to have to do math. And that's super tricky because if you could imagine, um, like if you could imagine the code behind it to say like, okay, I want you to build this platform of glass like just inside of this cube that I already built that like it's just it's fairly confusing and and that's why we need to do it with the math because um, it's not likely that the computer will just know exactly what it is that you meant um, okay so this is what I'm thinking but what I wanted to do was add a bit more water because I kind of wanted to have the water um, be everywhere where this glass was so that the top of it was just all water and see if maybe we can have the sea cucumbers be will they kind of grow from the top here I don't know I'm like trying to put in a ton of water so this whole thing is just filled with water am I just completely underwater now Okay, so can the sea cucumbers? Here's the big question. No, but can we put them here? Oh, darn it. So it looks like what we'd have to do is this. So what I was testing out was could I have um, glass be the, the kind of platform and the sea cucumbers grow down from the top so right now you can't really tell, but we're completely underwater. So if I were to switch to um, survival, you'd see that I'm underwater. Uh, so what I was trying to do was say, um, let's not die. I don't have, um, no, come on, game mode C. No, no, oh no, wait, 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 wait. I don't want to die, no, 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 I don't want to die. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to die. Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Ah, no, I don't, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Stop, stop, stop. Why, why did I lose my permission to switch? 
Ah! <laughs> Why did I lose my permission to to switch to 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 to, to creative mode? Um, wait, 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 wait. What happened? What happened? Creative mode. Yes, I want creative mode, but why did, why, 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 <laughs> okay, code builder, yeah, cheats, always day, I don't need, activate cheats, why wouldn't it let me, did y'all not see that, I misspelled it, how did I misspell it, oh no, <laughs> I hope I can find that again, I'm so sad, did we, we didn't even write down the coordinates, okay, good, I'm still in it, okay, game, Mo game mode C. Oh, 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 that was so stressful. Oh my gosh, spelling is hard, y'all. Spelling is hard. I don't even remember what I was saying. I wanted the, the pickles to grow from the ceiling. Oh, 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 so stressful. Why is Minecraft so stressful? Oh my goodness. No, I don't want that much coral. Stop it. Stop it. No, stop it. No, oh, no, my mouse is doing that thing where it's just clicking and I don't want it to click. Stop clicking. <laughs> I'm going to cry. <laughs> Why is this not working? Okay, I'm just going to go back to the mountain. Let's go back to the mountain and see what's going on because this is not... I said go back to the mountain. Go. Go to your mountain. Oh, I need to rerun the code. Oh, goodness gracious. I should also name that. I should also save my code. Now I'm like super stressed. Everything's going to just disappear and I'm so sad and it's not disappearing, but I'm afraid that it's going to disappear. Okay, let's go back to the mountain and let's see what's wrong with my mouse. Are you clicking? Okay, you seem to be fine. No, why did I go back to the mountain? I didn't save those coordinates. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, um, I need to do time set day. And I need to do um, weather clear. Oh my gosh. Okay, where were you? You were over here. Coral reef, you were over here because I was looking for the sand. There's a little bit of sand. Oh my goodness gracious. This is why I've been trying to write everything down on paper and then also on GitHub. So I don't forget anything and I don't lose things and then I still lose everything. Oh my gosh, luckily I didn't lose everything. It's all still here. Here's our little, our coral reef should be right here. Um, there you are. There you are, coral reef. Okay, let's go back down. Let's go ahead and write down these coordinates now. So we are at, I'm just going to go in the center this time. So we're at negative 1832, and then we're going to go 57 again, and then let's go 395. Actually, let's go 55. Okay. So let me just go ahead and write that bit of code. Um, let's call this coral. Copy, paste. Let's bring this up. Let's call this coral. Thank you, Jessica, for writing those down for me in an, yet another place because honestly, that's 54 is fine. And then, what was it? 396. Because um, also now I'm looking at my handwriting of the thing I just wrote and it does not make sense. Okay, let's go ahead and run our code. And then let's go to coral. Okay, this is looking okay now. Um, we should probably also put some glass right up here. Um, just so then that way we're not like walking in water. Um, this one's a much prettier, a much prettier room than all of the rest. It makes me want to like go back to all of the other rooms and, and fix them up a little bit. I also kind of wanted to replace that coral, right, that dead coral that I was just looking at with some new live coral, but to be honest, I kind of like that some of it is, is dead. It looks a little bit more realistic, um, so that's fun. Okay, also, like, we've been, we've been on this stream for a really long time. This makes me think that I should just stream my entire work day because maybe I would work like many more hours um, than eight because clearly time just passes really fast. I mean, also if my work was literally just making Minecraft worlds, which is not that. Okay, so we need to replace those coordinates because those are not the right ones. First of all, let me get rid of some of these torches because I, I like the idea of just the sea pickles lighting up our world. So let me replace it with negative one eight. Let me erase. Okay, negative one eight two nine fifty four four hundred, and then let's go ahead and do that on the VS Code as well. 
Um, so then that way we don't forget it. So negative um, 1829, 54, 400. Perfect. All right, so let's go back over here. And what we were trying to do was finish up this one, which is going to be difficult. So I, really what I want to do is I want to teleport up a little bit so then that way I can finish doing what I was doing because I needed to just, here, let's just do this. Okay. And instead of glass, though, I want it to be coral. And let's put some more sea cucumbers. Perfect. Oh, look at my cute little sea cucumbers. Okay, so now let's also replace this with coral. Sorry, you needed to be sea cucumbers. And you needed to be coral. Coral. Coral, coral. Um, also, I have a cousin named Coral, so it just kind of makes me laugh every time I say Coral. Yay! Okay, so now we've got our Coral. Um, and the last thing that we need for today is our cliff. So let's go... I mean, we could just go back to the mountain. We could also find another cliff. I mean, this one's kind of cool. We could even have the cliff just be air on the outside, which would be kind of neat. Instead, it could just be like a cave. Um, I kind of like the idea of that. So why don't we just... In that case, all we really need to do is is put air into the side of a cliff, um, which would just be kind of fun. Let's just do this cliff right here. It's kind of neat. Um, maybe like, ooh, I kind of like the idea of the entrance being a little bit hidden. All right, let's do it right here. So basically what I'm going to do is I want right here... And this is going positive, and this is going positive. So let's come over here, and basically what I want to do is from right here, and then let's go down a bit, right here, okay? So from here, I want to build basically a hole. So I just want to put air, but let's make sure we're doing the one that has the print statements. So what I'll do is I'll make sure that I I um, I save this code for you. So let's just do air, and we don't need the outer actually. We don't need the outer. Let's do down it here. So this is essentially what we're doing. And let's call this build, build cave. Okay. So let's go ahead and run this one. All right. It is doing its thing somewhere. I think it's, yeah, there it's going. And then what we can do is we can re-add some brick and stone, etc., cetera, um, to make it look a little bit less obvious of where it is. Um, it's a little tall also for this particular one. That's okay. Um, so, yeah, we can, we can kind of, like, re-add the facade so then that way the cave is a little bit, like, smaller. Um, in fact, maybe we should have done that to begin with. We could always re-put just one panel up, um, so I might do that. So that would essentially be, I don't want to go the, so it's, if it's doing a row, um, and then there's going to be a panel done, I don't want to go the direction of the row, so whichever direction that is, I think it's going to be Z, I want to go Z, keep X the exact same position, and then go Y up and down, um, I think that makes sense. So let's go ahead and let this do its thing, and then let's rebuild a panel. Then we'll just rebuild the top a little bit because the top isn't as, as hidden. Okay, so that one's done. So let's go ahead and rebuild a little bit. So um, what I want to do now is I don't want to do width because I don't want to do rows. So what I actually want to do is just do my current position. Um, so let's bring this up here. Let's do a build cave. 
wall. And then let's do, let's just do dirt or grass is fine. We don't want it to be width and the row is not gonna happen. So we want it to be not width. Um, we just want it to be two. So I think we just want this to be two. I think this is right. Let's go ahead and try. So build cape wall. I think this will work. Yeah. So this is just building the panel. Um, perfect, so that's done. So um, now we can just kind of like crack a hole in this. I think it would just kind of not have it be totally perfect. Um, Kind of looks good. Okay, and then we just want to rebuild the top here. So let's just go ahead and do some stone work. Um, oh, we don't need that one. I don't really need that one either. Okay, stop clicking. Sometimes my mouse just starts going crazy. Does that ever happen to y'all when you're playing Minecraft and just like you've been clicking so often that your mouse is just like, oh, you want me to click here? Let me click forever. Um, and you're like, no, that's not, that is not what I wanted. I did not want you to just click forever. And it just doesn't, it just doesn't care. It's just like, nope, you said that you wanted me to click forever. So here you go, clicking forever. You're like, thanks, but no thanks. Um, that happens to me a lot. I don't know what it is. I just end up like clicking out of it a bit and then usually it, it helps. All right, let's do some dirt again. So let's grab our grass. I should let my excess in here. That looks kind of cool. I just realized you should probably be dirt, not stone. Okay. Oh, I don't know if you can tell, but I am getting so tired, um, which means I think it's time to stop because the worst thing that you can do is be just absolutely exhausted and trying to build something and be creative or just write code and then all of a sudden you just keep making a bunch of mistakes that you wouldn't have made had you not been so tired. Okay, so the last thing though is that we should definitely make sure that we know the location of this. So this is going to be negative 20, 32, 72, 726. Let's go ahead and put a couple more torches in here. And let's go ahead and close up that hole we just made. And let's add the last bit of code over. Let's add the last bit of code. So let's call this one cave. All right. Cave. And let's type it in. Um, negative 20, 32, 72, and 726. Okay, let's also put that in the, let's call this K, um, negative 20, 32, 72, 726. And let's call this cave. Let's go ahead and save this. Um, I think okay, that should be hidden. So those are all the things. Um, let's go ahead and commit that. Um, 
of locations to all nine rooms. Okay, that looks good. I thought I had my, there we go, pull request. Um, let's go ahead and add a pull request. Choose a target branch. Creating pull request. Oh no, validation failed. What did I do wrong? Okay, well, anyways, um, let's go ahead and reload that. We already committed it, so everything should be saved. Um, what? What do you mean no GitHub repos found? There you go. Master. Oh my goodness. Okay, well I'm gonna have to fix that later. Um, I wanted to create a pull request and have it actually do that, but uh, that doesn't seem to be working right this second. So we'll just go ahead and sure. Let's go ahead and fetch. Occasionally, we just pushed up to our GitHub repo. So now, when we're on our stream. Uh, repo we should have we should see those updates so there those there are all of the updates uh, fairly fast to work between the two um, I do want to figure out how to get those pull requests working though just so then that way we can, we can make sure that we don't mess anything up great um, all right so now we have our nine um, rooms and next week we will review all of the uh, rules for clue and see how we want to actually build clue inside of here because um we've got our we've got our nine rooms i mean we can go between you know the water oops water Ooh. um we can do swamp sorry sorry did swamp not work what Swamp. Why did you not work, Swamp? Oh, okay, I'm way too tired to debug that right now. Anyways, my point is uh, we have our nine rooms somewhere. Oh, look, there's our Swamp. Am I just too low? Okay, let's fix that real quick. Oh, goodness gracious. What do I have for my Swamp? Mud, coral, Swamp. Let's go up. Let's do 54. Okay, let's find that. What does my code say in VS Code? 57, why does my, um, I wanted this to be 57. That's the other problem that was having like code in all the different places. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and do swap. There we go. All right, cave, so what we just made, coral. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. Okay. Um, oh, we want to get rid of these, though, because I wanted it to just be lit by sea cucumbers. Sea cucumber lighting. Okay. Um, perfect. I feel like that should be another shirt. Sea cucumber lighting. Um, thanks all for joining me. Um, let's go ahead and save and quit this before anything goes crazy and we lose stuff and all the things. Um, let me know if you have any questions. If you have uh minecraft education edition and you'd like to import this world into yours and play around with it let me know um otherwise i'll see you all on twitter on youtube on twitch um wherever you might find me out into the world so thank you again everyone for hanging out with me tonight um and i hope you had as much fun as i did with all of our pickles and oh they're pickles sorry yes sea pickles sea pickles um <laughs> with all of our pickles with all of our um, just like, you know, what was it? Not fine motor skills, just motor skills. Um, simply motor skills um, and, and our, 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 our just craziness. Uh, so thanks all for joining and I will see you next week, likely on Tuesday. Bye.